Hey everybody, it's Brad at Dayport Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Going to do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2005 Kubota M6800 that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions, I'll get up close to everything, talk about everything I know, show you everything I see. Then of course we'll start it up, I'll get up close, let you hear the engine, I'll get up close and show you that there's no play in those pins, show you the hydraulics are strong, show you the brakes work good, kind of run it through its paces. As always, if you are in the market for a used tractor, a used piece of farm, or a used piece of construction equipment, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for equipment find our videos, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 2005 Kubota M6800. It's a very, very, very nice tractor, as you'll see when I get up close to everything. Cab heat air, four-wheel drive, LA1002 front loader with the skid steer mount quick attach, one rear remote, eight-speed mechanical shuttle. It's got a radio, R1 tires. Like I said, it's skid steer mount quick attach up here. And as you'll see here in a little bit when we do the operational video, there is basically no play at all up here in these pins. As you can see, the paint is very bright. That loader is really, really nice. Front tires, I'm gonna say are 25, 30% on tread life. I do think the rims have been painted a while ago. They look really good and they weren't rusty underneath of it, but I do think those rims have probably been painted. Rear tires are very good. I'm gonna say we're at 50 to 60% tread life. I think I'm being pretty fair there. As you can see, very good. Same thing, rear rims, I think those were painted a while ago. Usually those rims fade. There are a few little nicks in the paint in them, but I do think they were probably painted a while ago. Coming back here to the three point. These do have the arms for the adjustable, so it's easier to hook up, push that down, that slides out. Draw bar's in good shape. 540 PTO, like I said, it's got one rear remote. This side rear tire matches up really well to the other side. Same thing with the rim. Do you think there's a couple little nicks in the paint? There's a little nick here, a little spot there on this fender. Again, this front tire matches up to the other side probably 25% or so. Same thing, rim's in really good shape. It's really straight, does have a few nicks in it. I do think it was painted, like I said, at one point. This side on the loader, again, paint is very bright, very straight, not a lot of scratches. I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere on the loader arms or the skid steer mount plate. The bucket is very, very straight as well. There's no bows or anything in the, or dents or dings really in the bucket. It's actually very, very clean there. Back here, this bar is nice and straight. You'll see a lot of times those get kind of a wave in them or a bow. There's a couple little scratches in it, nothing out of the ordinary. Up here, the bumper guard is in good shape. That lower plastic piece that the headlights are in, you can see the paint is a little faded on that. It's very common on these. Headlights are in good shape. All right, up here inside the engine, everything's nice and clean up here in the front. Obviously, pre-emissions Kubota diesel engine back here. Very, very nice. Everything's really clean in there. We'll walk around, take a look on each side. Get as close as I can here. As you can see there, nice and dry on this side. No oil or diesel running down the side of it. Take a look on the other side. As you can see there, very, very dry, very clean. No oil or diesel running down the side of it there. Take a look at the operator station. The steps are in really good shape on this side. All of the glass is good. 
I don't see any cracks in any of the glass. It's all present. This floor mat, as you can see, is very, very nice. It's not all tore up here. Very clean as it should be. The seat is in very good shape. I don't see any cuts or tears in that seat. Both armrests are present and in good shape, as you can see here. Very good there. All of the little orange knobs are very nice. They're very clean. A lot of times you'll see where they get a bunch of black, just dirt and stuff over time from your hands. And they are, as you can see, very clean here. Same with the gear shift lever here, your throttle lever. This one even has one on the steering wheel. It's in really good shape. All of the pedals are in good shape. Brake pedals, throttle pedal. Loader controls are in good shape. The little cab light works when the doors open here. I did run this one around a little bit ago. The AC was blowing nice and cold. The hour meter does work. Let's see if I can get in there a little closer. 1118. As you can kind of see from here, that hood is in very, very good shape. Paint's nice and bright on that. All right, like I said, this was the 2005. 1,118 hours, I'll shut the hood, we'll get right into an operational video.